Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Bernard of Clairvaux. And so we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May dear friends, let us call to mind our sins, and once again, ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, and to and you, you my brothers sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through for my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot St. Bernard, a man consumed with zeal for your house, and the light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ruth. Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons who married Moabite women, one named Orpah, to other Ruth. When they had lived there about ten years, both Malon and Chilion died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. Because word reached her there that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, See now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not ask me to abandon or forsake you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Thus it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord rises upon those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. Please stand there. Teach me your paths, my God. Guide me in your truth.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, as a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? And he said to them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest in the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And the whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. May dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. May dear friends, it is very clear in today's gospel that Jesus is talking about law. And when we talk about law, this is the objective norm of morality. Sa morality po, sa Christian morality, natutunan po natin that there is that objective norm at the same time a subjective norm. When we talk about subjective norm, we are talking here of conscience, individual. But in today's gospel, Jesus is talking about the objective norm, and that is law. And clearly he said that the greatest of, the, of them all is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Malinaw na malinaw po. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin una sa lahat, higit sa lahat ang Diyos. And the rest will follow. At totoo po ito. When we talk about pag-ibig, take note, in the, the, the context of today's gospel is about love. And when we talk about love, wala pong ibang modelo ang titignan, kundi ang Diyos. Because God Himself is love. God Himself is love. And so, to love is to love the way, is following the ways of God. Kaya ibig sabihin, kapag umibig tayo, hindi mo pwedeng ilayo ang pag-ibig. Kapag tayo ay umiibig o nagpapakita ng pag-ibig sa kapwa or inapaksina sa buhay natin ang buhay pag-ibig o yung pagmamahal, we cannot but really put God at the center. Andun dapat ang Diyos. Because God is love. Siya mismo yun. Kaya nakakalungkot yung iba, maririnig natin yung tipong umiibig. There's so much, I mean, arrogant maybe to talk about love and yet forgetting God I think they miss the point because you can only talk about the real essence of love if you have that God at the center kaya isang magandang paalala po sa ating lahat nawa ang pag-ibig natin ang pagsasabuhay ng buhay pag-ibig ay dapat nandun dapat ang Diyos hindi mo pwedeng alisin ang isa. Because God Himself is love. At ako'y nakikita ko po ito. Marahil tayong lahat nakikita na ito. Kapag nakikita natin yung halimbawa mag-asawa na andun ang Diyos, aba, solid yan. Kapag nakita ang pamilya, pag-ibig ng, pag ng, ng pagiging pamilya, kapag nandun ang Diyos, nako, solid yan. It may not be that perfect. Hindi man magiging perfecto. After all, ang pagbu pagiging buhay ng tao, hindi po pagiging perfecto. There could be lapses. There could be weaknesses. May pag pagkukulang. And yet, kahit andun yung imperfections, mananatili pa rin yan because of the presence of God in their midst. Kaya napakadang paalala, nawa sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay sa lahat ng ating mga salita, sa lahat ng ating mga ginagawa, sa lahat ng magiging plano sa buhay, gayon din sa mga magiging ambisyon natin. Sana ay wag na wag natin kalimutan ang Diyos. Sapagat kapag nandyan ang Diyos, it may be so imperfect. Merong mga pagkakahinaan, and yet, 
mananatiling buo pa rin yan. Today, in the first reading, we heard about the story of Naomi and Ruth. Ruth is a very popular biblical character in the Old Testament. Si Ruth po ay isang mother or sister, daughter-in-law rather, ni Naomi. And then, actually, dalawa yung anak niya, eh. dalawa yan sila, na daughter-in-laws. Daughter -in And then, it was Ruth who remained. Yung tipong, oo, kinakailangan niyang umalis, he has the right, she has the right to live. But, kita mo yung commitment niya sa kanyang mother-in-law to stay. Mas nahahalaga, binibigyan ng halaga ang pag-ibig sa kapwa. Pag-ibig, lalong-lalo na sa kanyang ina. And speaking of that, also, my dear friends, ang ating mahal na ina na si Apo Bakit, pinakita rin niya ito. Matapos niya isinabuhay ang kanyang commitment to offer his life to God, matapos niyang nangakong mahalin ang Diyos, mahalin ang pangako ng Diyos, iniwan niya rin ang lahat at ibinigay niya ang lahat para sa Diyos. Sinamahan niya ang kanyang anak na si Jesus. It was not so perfect way of life. Kung titignan natin ang buhay ni Maria, ang buhay ni Jesus, it was not so perfect. And yet, nananatili dahil nandun ang Diyos. Nawa sa mga asawa, nandun ang Diyos. Sa mga pamilya, sana andin din, din dyan ang Diyos. At sa ating mga maliliit na komunidad o samahan, sa lahat ng ating mga ginagawa, gawain, sana nandun din ang Diyos. In other words, it's all about commitment. And commitment will always take that real sense of love. And we can continue to keep that commitment for life only if we also keep God in our midst. We all stand. Let our prayers show that we love the Lord God with all our heart, with all our mind and soul and strength. Let our prayers show that we love our neighbors as we respect and reverence ourselves. For every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, through its leaders, may bring the faithful to a deeper knowledge and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That obedience to God's law may guide those who govern us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our homes may be places of God's presence where everyone is taught to care and respect one another as a child of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may bring to his eternal kingdom and our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in silence, we offer to God our personal intentions, all our needs, and seeking for the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. In a special way, we offer this Mass for the quick recovery of Miss Amelia Reyes. Lord God, you reveal your will to us to your commandments. As we bring these petitions before you, give us the grace to lift out these commandments. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of Saint Bernard be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by Him. We too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, may we run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord of fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Bernard, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art who in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come. Will thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, into temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened St. Bernard for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Announcement. Brothers and sisters, good afternoon. The Dominican Community of Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it on your donation. And you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please attend. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray the blessing of the sick and also for the blessings of your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection, of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, and all religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.